because of the unplanned developmental activities you know in the last two decades the city has grown irrationally you know it is a unabated uh, the uh, the construction and industrialization in the town is creating the havoc you know i do not understand why everything has to be in bangalore we should move towards the distributed growth in the state than putting all the industries in the city now when you look at the implication of unplanned urbanization over the last four decade there has been a 1028% increase in the concrete area we have lost 88% uh, vegetation 79% water bodies see this vegetation and water body acts as the sink for the pollutant because they also take away the co2 in the air if you look at the way the the vehicular pollution is happening in the city there is unrealistic growth in the vehicle there should have been a, some kind of a norm on the number of vehicle in the city the, when we look at the six cities in the country the major cities in the country we find that bangalore is as close as to the the, the worst situation of delhi delhi might have additional burden of the crop burning etc but we also have something from the construction dam the waste and also mismanagement of solid waste mismanagement of the liquid waste see when we mismanage the solid and liquid waste we have a silent killer in the form of methane is getting generated methane has the global warming potential at least 25 times higher than co2 our regulatory agencies lack the spinal cord you know because of that we see the vacuum in the system the management of solid waste should have happened management of liquid waste should have happened we should have treated the waste as the wealth we could have generated the job when we create this waste treatment facility at the same time we could have given a cleaner environment to the system you know if you make environmental education a mandatory and taught by a sensible teacher probably we will have a next breed of youngsters who would be more sensible and responsible they would contribute to the development of the country while maintaining the quality of the environment that uh, tamasha of odd and even scheme has rather increased the number of vehicle than reducing it these are all ad hoc reactionary approach which is not going to solve the problem and when the judiciary says something they try to do something that is not going to solve we not a, we need a sustainable option we need to move towards the public transport the efficient the attractive mechanism economically attractive mechanism has to be in place so that people will opt for the this one the having metro without a last mile connectivity is as good as not having metro having metro without a proper security for women is as good as not having metros thousands of taxi goes to the airport why not think of metro on priority when i look at the the sector wise the the pollution in the air i would say the transportation sector is higher to an extent of 43% when we do the cross city analysis the cities where the public transport is weak like hyderabad bangalore are on the higher side hyderabad uh, the transportation sector contribute 54% whereas the bangalore transportation sector contributes about 43% among the total the pollutant in the system and among that two will are contribute to 60% what is the point in having a, a, a high uh, sensitive sensors unless we have a mechanism to mitigate or regulate if you have only the data if there is no policy nor implementation i would say it's of no use i am not for the uh, high end international uh, sensors or i think these are all few system people get it they put it in five or six places they do not even know how to interpret the data we should push for development of indigenous sensors which are suitable for indian condition so that our children can design 
and they can monitor once they monitor they know the value of the system once they know the value they will start questioning the government